All right, today on its 2012 Nissan Altima, we're going to install part number 24796 from Draw Type. All right, this is what the hitch looks like once it's installed on the vehicle. Next, we'll give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From top of receiver opening down to the ground will be 10 and a quarter inches, and from the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of a bumper will be 5 and 3 quarter inches. Now, we'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. The first thing we do is open up the trunk and get inside the vehicle. We're going to remove the carpeting and the fiberboard that's underneath. Next, we're going to go ahead and get underneath the vehicle. Now, some vehicles have a ground wire on a driver's side muffler. This one did not have, so we won't have to worry about disconnecting it for now. If it did, we'd reconnect the wire when we were done for our install. Now, we need to disconnect the exhaust mufflers on each side. First off, we'll spray down the clamp with some lubricant, and then we'll loosen up the clamp. Then we'll go ahead and spray the exhaust away from the tailpipe. This will loosen up the muffler. We'll spray down the hanger that's above the muffler, make it a little easier to slide apart. When we're done with this side, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side, since our vehicle is dual exhaust. The next thing is to go ahead and look at the exhaust heat shields. We have to bend them away from the trunk pan, so we have room to install our hitch. Just gently just push them back towards the outside, so we have some working room. Okay, now if we'll go ahead and lift the hitch up in position. We'll hold it up against the inside edge of the bodywork or the inside edge of a frame and make sure you push it all the way towards the back. Now we'll go ahead and mark for our holes. What we're going to do is use the hitch as a template and we're actually going to use some spray paint to mark our holes. Okay, once our holes are marked, we'll go ahead and lower the hitch out of the way. We'll go ahead and locate the center of the marks, then drill a pilot hole from the bottom up. Now we'll go to the inside of the vehicle and drill our holes out from the inside to the outside. We'll drill out to a 7 16 hole. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the hardware will work with the hitch. On the inside, there'll be a stiffener plate added and two carriage bolts. Okay, we'll go ahead and put the stiffener plate and the bolts together to show you how it goes on the inside. Now, before we permanently install them, we'll take some sealant and apply that around the holes. Then we'll take our block and our bolts and put them into place. We'll also use something to put some weight on to hold the bolts down in place when we install our hitch. All right, now we'll go ahead and install the hitch. With the next set of hands, we'll push the hitch up and make sure you try not to push the bolts back in. We'll install lock washers and nuts. Okay, once everything's loosely installed, we'll go ahead and tighten down the nuts and washers. And then we'll torque the bolts down as specified in the instructions. Now we'll go ahead and take our heat shields, push them back up against the hitch, but far enough where it won't vibrate against it. Then we can go ahead and reinstall our exhaust. We reverse the procedure, we'll slide the exhaust back onto the hanger, and then connect the two pipes. And then tighten down the clamp. Now we'll get back into the trunk and reinstall the interior panels. And that'll do it for our install part number 24796 from Draw Tight on our 2012 Nissan Altima.